you're welcome to today's video in this video we shall consider a circle of diameter 40 millimeter position at 45 degrees to the horizontal center of another circle with a diameter of 140 degrees we are expected to plot the locus of the point p as the smaller circle rolls over the circumference of the bigger circle for one revolution so the first thing we have to do is to duplicate or draw the given view the same way it is so first we we'll draw the horizontal line then we we'll draw the circle the larger circle which has the radius of 70 millimeters so altogether it will give us a diameter of 140 so at this point we'll construct the angle of 45 so the next thing we have to do is on this line we have to mark the using the radius of the smaller circle which is 20 millimeter mark on this line so that we'll be able to produce the circle so mark at the point c0 to produce the circle so the next thing we have to do is to draw the path in which the circle will be rotating or will move so that's the center we use the center there to create the path in which it it will move that's other circles the generating circles will pass through this path so that is our center for all other ones so at this point we'll divide this circle into 12 equal parts so you make use of set square in line with this center line so use it to divide the circle into 12 equal parts and the next thing is to label the part starting from the base this will label it 0 to 11 starting from the bottom of the bigger of the bottom of the smaller circle so that will help us to get the labeling all through so the next set of things is to radiate the lines that, so that it will give us the locus of the points in which they will pass through so we'll do that for each one of them so make sure you take notes of the central point is different from the line for three and nine so this is the last line we are going to draw describe or project that's the line for six so after doing that we pick each division we divided the circle into 12 parts so pick each division which will give us approximately 10.5 millimeters so there we mark on the circumference of the larger circle so the 12 markings will do that another way is to get the angle in which the generating circle rules on the base circle which the formula is theta over uh, theta equal to smaller radius over larger radius divided by 360 to give us the required angle so we divide that angle into 12 equal parts and it will give us uh, the total angle is 102.9 which is approximately 103 so we divide it to give us each division so now we radiate the lines from the center O then we mark where it the lines meet the center line that we drew first to give us C1, C2 up to C12 which will be the center which we use to generate our locus so getting these centers we we'll pick the radius of the generating circle which is 20 millimeters now we'll put the center of our compass at that point then we we'll mark on the line radiating line for one then now we'll move to the center c2 then we'll mark on the line for two then we we'll duplicate that for three four up to 12 then after doing that process we'll now be able to connect the points which will give us the required 
epicycloid to ensure to do the necessary connection if not it will not give you the required uh, locus or the path p so now what we're doing at this point is to show you the angle which is the 103 that we mentioned before the required uh, division along the path in which the generating circle rolls on the base circle that's the smaller circle rolls on the bigger circle so now at this point we'll connect the required point 